Oh, well, yes, as we are speaking just now, uh, Nirmala Sitaram is here. She'll be casting her vote at uh, uh, Jainagar constituency. As you pointed out, uh, you know, in between your uh, hectic schedule, uh, she has arrived here uh, uh, with her parents to cast a vote at Jainagar constituency. And uh, in a very short while, we'll get to see, as you can see in the visuals, uh, Nirmala Sitaram is heading towards the polling booth uh, here at Bharat Education Society in Jainagar, uh, a constituency which is headed by a Congress MLA, uh, Soumya Reddy, and the female MLA in Bengaluru. So, as you can see in the visuals, Nirmala Sitaram is heading towards the polling booth here. Uh, very shortly, she'll be casting a vote in China constituency. Absolutely. Uh, Akshara, uh, we'll come to you in just a few seconds as she finishes voting. Uh, we have a few first-time voters uh, here at the polling booth in Mount Carmel College. Remember, that's been one of the major focus areas. A significant number of first-time voters in Karnataka this time, and they could play a very crucial role. Ma'am, you've just finished voting here. Uh, how was the experience? This is something that a lot of people also wait for, that they vote first time. Yeah, actually, I am pretty excited that I'm voting for the first time, and uh, I feel really responsible doing it. Hmm. And uh, I feel it's really, really big responsibility that yes. uh, the younger generation is taking on. Hmm. So I am very happy to do it. You know, uh, the Election Commission has had several uh, initiatives to ensure that youngsters, one, enroll and second, come out and vote. Uh, but still, there are concerns at time that youngsters, whether first time or second time, voters don't turn up in big numbers. What do you think is the reason? I mean, you, you talk to your uh, friends and colleagues. What is, what is the reason? What stops them? Or what doesn't motivate them to come here? Uh, well, I'm not pretty sure about it. Some of them have their voter ID, some of them don't. Some of them who stay in Bangalore or they tra keep traveling, you know, they stay in hostel, they don't go to their hometowns. Maybe that is the reason. Not pretty sure, but probably that is one of the main reason for them to travel back and there won't be much time or something like that. Thank you, ma'am. Congratulations on your Thank first you so words. Much. Yeah. Thank you so much. There you go. Uh, a lot of uh, first-time voters as well. Remember, they are present in a significant number in uh, Karnataka this time round. Uh, will they vote for a party en masse? Will that change electoral dynamics? Uh, remember, the idea of the assessment is that a lot of these first-time voters uh, are also the ones who might not vote on traditional dynamics. They might not vote on caste. Uh, they might not vote on religion. They might look at other aspects. Uh, will that be the case? If that is the case, then we are looking at a slow change in how Karnataka votes. Remember, uh, in Karnataka, it's always been on caste lines that uh, elections have been fought. And uh, that th there is a significant push by the BJP to ensure that doesn't happen, that doesn't work for the BJP. Uh, Will that change? That's something we'll have to see. And uh, one constituency uh, that votes irrespective of caste and for one man that they love a lot is uh, uh, Kanakpura. DK Shukumar contesting from there. The BJP saying that uh, we have put up a strong challenger in the form of R. Ashok, another Vokaliga. Will that change equations in Kanakpura? Let's find out. Pallavi goes joining us from Kanakpura. Pallavi, uh, we saw the BJP. Uh, announcing Arashok's name and saying that uh, we will ensure that DK Shukumar loses there. But we've also seen uh, widespread support for DK Shukumar. What's the enthusiasm at the polling booth like? Well, I'm just going to try and go across to the polling booth, but just behind me, the road leading up is the Kalambika Temple, and that's where DK Shivkumar is going to be arriving around roughly 9 o'clock, uh, and it's after that that he's going to go to cast his vote roughly around 11 o'clock. That's what our Congress party has told me. Uh, but, you know, it should be a cakewalk, as you know. Uh, that is just the sense which the Congress party has, that it should be a cakewalk. In fact, they have been tweeting out to say that he's going to win with the largest number of mandate over here. But a Wokalinga versus Wokalinga is a very clear messaging coming in both from the Congress as well as from the BJP. I think the fact fight we'll really come back will to begin to the a Congress bit. party. Uh